What's up there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mods Anomalies channel. I've got a pretty cool one for you guys today. Um, it's it's a bizarre picture. And the reason why it's bizarre is, first of all, they're manipulations. We all know they're good for that. Um, but speaking of manipulations, remember I told you guys in one of my videos, I said it looks like they took the picture through a screen. And I said, I've never seen that before. Well, I stand corrected. Um, they were using these in the early days. And what I mean by early days... Because this is what this picture goes back to. This goes back to the 20th, uh, the Sol 20, which is ba basically day 20th, and when uh, Curiosity was on, is, is on Mars. And it's it's incredible how they really go through, again, great lengths to try to hide this stuff from people. Because the pattern they got on here now, I mean, at times it looks like you're looking through a, a picnic table cover. Um, it's just got these big squares, and every time you zoom into it, it just has this... The squares still stay there, but they just take on different patterns um, or just thinner lines. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, and like I said, the best way to describe this thing is bizarre or insane. Uh, it's the only two words that come to my mind. Um, it appears to have buried uh, A, vehicles, um, machines, whatever it is. But it, when I say buried, meaning like encrusted, like they've been there for years. Um because I was trying to wrestle with the idea. I'm saying, when you see these things, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, because you can't see the stuff too clearly, but there's one particular detail that stands out. And I don't care. You know, most people will say, well, you know how, like, you have your different perspective and just the way you view something. You just see something different. You just, you, you do. And, and most people do. They see things differently and they just go, um, yeah, I'm not seeing what you see. This one here is universal. And what I mean by universal, this, this detail, it's small, but very important. And it screams intelligently made. Um, and it's universal, meaning and I don't care what country you're from. You're going to say, yeah, it's absolutely that. Um, heck, I asked my family that. I said, what do you guys think that is? They went, oh, uh, that. And they, they come right and said, I said, well, at first they, didn't, were, they weren't sure what I was looking at. I said, no, no, no right here in this spot. And they're going, because you expect to see large things. But when I showed it to them, I said, what does that look like right there? And they went, oh, wow, that's pretty wild. So, yeah. Um, but anyway... There's multiple anomalies in this picture. Um, and, and like I said, I was wrestling with the idea. I'm saying, okay, I believe there's a lot of buried things here that's been here for hundreds of years. Or they're encrusted or whatever. Um, if you were to think of an earthquake here on Earth. Now, you know, because we always said this ca catastrophic something or other happened to uh, Mars. And I still believe that. Um, if you were to just, I don't know, let's just throw a hypothetical. You've got your car sitting in the driveway. It's not right on the side of the house. Maybe it's in front of the house. And you have like this astronomical earthquake. Let's say 8.0, which is unheard of. Um, but it totally just rips your house to splinters. And it's nothing but just, you know, it looks like kindling laying on the ground. I mean, it's just, it's a mess. Um, what do you think would happen to your car? Probably not a thing. I mean, maybe blow out the windows from the shock. But I mean, other than that, what would it do to the car? Not a thing. Now, if you were like in California or some other places next to a, either A in a parking garage or in California where you had upper level bridges collapse onto lower level bridges, well, your car is basically a pancake. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this stuff, but it's not it's not completely ruined, at least not in this picture. And the stuff is encrusted. Um, so it's not like something fell on top of it. So either, you know, uh, it got kind of buried over a course of years. I mean, it's the only way, other way you can describe it because you go, okay, even if it was an earthquake, what's the, the dirt just going to hurry up and jump on top of it? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Um, and so I've been wrestling with that idea. That's why I believe in some, you know, ways that, uh, well, a lot of ways, I, I, I believe we're on uh, Mars. And I, like I said, 95% believe that, or even 90. Uh, because, you know, you have to be realistic. Because of NASA, not never a straight answer, um, uh, you know they could be full of it. So is there a chance that we're not on Mars? Sure. Um, you have to keep that, even though you're a skeptic, you still got to keep, you have, a, you have to have an open mind. You have to, um, because it can go either way. I believe we are on Mars, and I, I, I at least me personally. Um, but um, again, they're just going out of their ways to extensively hide what's really on this planet. So, and when you see this stuff that's hidden and is one small, like I said, uh, Anomaly that'll stand out, and you're just gonna go, "What the heck is that doing there?" Um, and it's yeah, it's not something you're gonna, like I'm gonna say. Well, it looks like this, but it's actually that. It's it's clear as bell. And I'm hoping if you guys see this video, it's because it passed uh, my test. I've done this video three times now. Uh, the last time I did this, the video on it, the second time I did it, it um, 
I actually tried to use the magnifier like I tell you guys. Use the magnifier and tell me what you guys see. Well, it was blurry. I couldn't see it. So, and that was my other software. I'm hoping that this one here makes it. So if this makes it onto it, you know it's worked out. And um, I've seen it, so you guys will see it. So for now on, in the future, I will do that. Um, but anyway, let's get to where it is. Uh, let's do this. Um, this is the picture right here. And like I said, what caught my eye was this right here. Now, that's not the anomaly. Um, I mean, I said, I was, I was kind of kidding around. I said, hey, why don't we just, like, if that had, like, a threaded kind of spiral, it would look like a giant uh, adjustable wrench. That's what it looked like to me. Well, either they got this fat piece of cheese and lodged in a box. But you can see this looks like a boxed-off area kind of thing. But you're going to see it takes on a different form altogether. Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty wild. But... Now, I just went like this. Like, we can click into this, what looks like a rock, and go, well, yeah, I don't see anything, any patterns in this. You will. Um, and there's a reason for it. I think they did this, I don't know if it's to mask anybody who's trying to use some kind of uh, software to try to see this stuff, um, or whatever. But trust me, it's there. Okay. Let's do that. Let's just, we can jump out of that. It doesn't really matter. Uh, okay. Here it is right here. You can get it right here. It's NASA JPL. Um, and here it is. The image was taken on uh, uh, by the mass camera, rather. Uh, mass right on board NASA's Mars Ros, uh, rover, Curiosity, on Sol 20. And it's funny because they say Sol 20, but yet it's the 26th of August, 2012. But either way, regardless, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see that. Even right there. I mean, you guys can use your magnifier. Pause this video any way you want. You know, you know how I am. I'll try to. I'm going to try to zoom in first on this and show you guys what I think. I what I think these things are. And, of, of course, what I what they look like or what I think these things are. And now you guys can, as always, give me your comments, tell me, whatever. But you can actually see this looks like little squares in here. I mean, all over this, you can, like I said, just stop this any way you want. But um, but it's just kind of, it's you can go to the high res. Um, and, like I said, I thought this was kind of wild because I saw this here and I said, what is that? But, again, that'll take on a different, you know, uh, form in a little bit because what I'm going to do is you don't have to invert to see this actual anomaly but I do at the end just so you guys can see the flip side of it meaning it's still there no matter how you look at this thing uh, this however changes so it is manipulated I mean first of all they throw this weird manipulation over the picture and then they try to smudge out some of the areas and you'll see that pretty soon all right things I want you to keep an eye on it looks like I don't know if it's part of like a little piece of whatever this is because this is not a rock you can see it kind of goes up here and goes down. But the, what's wild about it, it actually has this orifice right here. And there's a pipe or something coming out of it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's right there. And it's it's just weird. It has another one coming out of here. And you won't see it too clearly right here. So, you know, don't say, oh, I'm not seeing this. this I'm not going to. Just watch the video throughout. You'll understand what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, you come down here. This looked like a plant to me right here. Look at it. You know, like the real large sunflowers? Look at the way it has, like, these pointed petal kind of things hanging off this. And you'll see that a lot better again uh, a little bit later. But it has this weird rectangular thing coming up and then coming back down. It looks like there's a hole and part of that plant or whatever it is sticking out of it. Or it's a piece of metal or something else. Um, but it kind of struck me weird, like a, like a big petal. Just ha I mean, not a petal, but a, a leaf hanging over. See it? Now, what it is, couldn't tell you. This, I believe, is a trick of the rocks or just the ground itself because it, it's hard to tell what this is. But when I really looked at it, it looks like it has one, two, three, four, like little tiny, like, this is attached to something right here. So this is something else. This is not a rock per se. Go a little higher. Look at this right here. It's got this weird thing. It looks like this little funky cocoon kind of thing. And it's got this opening, another opening. And there's actually some things that are inside it. Really weird stuff. Um... Let me see. And this right here was kind of weird. It looked like a... It kind of looked like a car to me. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, when you look at the body line, it, like, comes over to here, comes down, goes down like this here, and it looks like it's got a wheel right here. And on the other side... So, in other words, this would be the our hood, like if we see here on Earth. It would be like a hood right here. The front of it would be over here. And then it looks like the actual door, if this is, in fact, a car, and I'm not sure it is, uh, but look, you can actually see like it's open, and you can see the other line of it. And it's something looks like it's coming right through the window or something like that. There's something there, and it's some kind of weird rectangular box or something sitting right here. See that? 
And there's something right here. It's like you can see there's, there's corners to this stuff. So this stuff is encrusted. There's something here. I don't know what this stuff is, but look at Just pay attention to detail. Detail is everything. It tells a story. And look at this. There's some kind of weird round thing right on whatever this is. Um, and what's really goofy about this stuff is when you look over here, it looks like anybody who knows anything about electronics will know what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you in the other picture because I'm going to contrast this thing. It looks like it, it almost looks like you're looking close up at a circuit board. Um, like you'll see, and again, it won't look like much hair, but it looks like there's two resistors of diodes and they're connected. You can see them go like this, and you can see what looks like it's something coming over from here to there. Okay, and it looks like it'd be like a disk capacitor sitting right here, and over here. It looks like the opposite side of your, your uh, circuit board or motherboard where you, you see all your traces. Um, and I know that sounds really goofy, but don't worry about it. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, and you're just going to go, eh, it really does. Um, and this, it, it, you just can't figure this picture out. It's, it's insane. Um, let me see here. There's other weird things that just don't look at. Like this, like right here. Look, just look at the shape of these weird things just coming down. and has design to it. There's, these are actually designed stuff. You see, it's pretty wide and comes down. Um, like I said, it looks like somebody threw a rock up against this. This is a flat rock or whatever. But see how they like most of these what look like rocks actually have corners to them. And is again, look at the detail on these things. They all look like if you didn't know any better, especially this area right here. If you zoomed in, and I have done this, um, it looks like little miniature houses. Now I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm saying that's what it looks like. Um, let me see. This look kind of weird. It looked like some kind of weird creature with an eye, and it has like a tongue sticking out. But when you further investigate it, um, it looks like, I mean, it looks like you can see like a piece of metal coming out. goes up like this here, and it's, and it's pretty wide. See it? It comes up and over, and it goes into whatever this is. And there's a bunch of detail on this. That's what I'm saying. you got to look at this stuff really carefully. You can't just look at this whole thing and go, yeah, I don't know what that is. It looks like a boulder. It may look like that at first, but it's not. This is actually a space here. It's not a, it's not an eye. It's not a, like a, an actual monster or <laughs> some kind of dinosaur thing. It's actually like there's a hole here. And there's some kind of detail f uh, features to it. Call it what you will. Um, this was kind of strange. I looked at this and the first thing that popped in my head looked like this. It looks like a piece of machinery or something like that. But it looks like this weird uh, pterodactyl, like these old flying dinosaurs used to have. It's got this head to it with the mouth. It has like an eye right here. And it don't look like much hair. I, I understand that. It really doesn't look like much, but it looks like it has a neck and a body comes down, and it looks like it might even have wings on it right here, but I'm just saying that's the first thing that struck me. And, and you try to think of things you would see here, either we've uh, learned about or seen here on Earth, and you just kind of try to relate it, but that doesn't mean it's, it's going to be the same thing here. But right next to it, it has this, has like this symmetrical lines here, it's just like there's some weird thing right here, and it has this opening, and something sticking out of that. But like I said, you got to look at this here. It looks like, like I said, this weird, funky shape here, but it's got openings to it. I don't know what that stuff is, but it's there. Um, okay. And you'll see like a bunch of these little squares and stuff like that here. And it's got like these looking weird looking can things here. Um, and like I said, if you were looking up close to a, uh, like a circuit board or something like that, and you look at the top, it looked like one of these... Uh, Electrolyte capacitors with the the band on one side, you know, because they are directional. Um, not all, but you, you know what I'm saying. Um, but look at just like patterns in the rocks here. Look at this. It's just weird how it does that. Um, I believe there's a bunch of stuff just encrusted sitting on the ground here. This is where it gets wild. And you guys are going to see this and just going to go, what is that? Now I'm just looking at this too, and I just discovered this while doing this. Look at this. It's got this weird round thing here, and it's got some kind of letter or number right here. I don't know if it's a two or some kind of P or, and of course I I, I this is I just now seen this uh, I didn't even see this when I first did this picture, um, because I looked over the picture obviously and checked out myself before I did this video, all right here, got squares and what look like designs all over this thing, and you'll see a bunch of what look like little circuits or like a miniature city, and of course that doesn't make sense I get that part, but it looks like a bunch of circuit boards or great detail on whatever this stuff is, or it's just a mass manipulation that they do to their pictures. What are they do? Um, but anyway, I never noticed that until just now. And you can see what looks like a square right here. See it? It kind of goes up, goes across, comes back down. You can actually see the outline right over there. And then, of course, you don't see it right here. But, well, it looks like well, it might be right there. 
But you can see something here, and it looks like it's got some kind of writing on it. Heck, I didn't even see that. I'll have to check that out myself. Um, right here, look at the look at the shape of this. It's rounded, and comes over to here, goes down. There's all kinds of parts of whatever this stuff is, and it looks like it's been here for hundreds of years. It, it's insane. Um, this is where it gets crazy. This is the part I want you to really focus on, and I'm hoping this comes out in this video because my God, this thing just stood out. I went, "What is that?" Um, you won't see it really too much in this picture right here, but you will in a little bit. Right in this area. Okay? When you look closely, there's a number six sitting right here. Okay? It looks like some kind of cylindrical thing right here. Well, behind this, I call it the pizza. Piece of pizza slice here. Um, but anyway, it looks like some kind of cylindrical thing with this, like this band going around, and it has like a, a six right there. And it's got, you can see the out, the right side of that band. And right there, you can just barely see it on the other side of this rock thing, whatever this is. But it gets crazier. It's part of a machine. You'll actually see this right here. It's got a piping to it. Okay? And whatever, and I don't know what it is. It may not be a pipe. It may be actually something solid, and all of this rock is covering it. But right here, you'll see this lighter dot and the light other lighter dot. It looks like in the picture... It looks like some kind of bolt and nut, and it has a clamp, which clamps this right into this other whatever this piece is. Um, and it, again, it's a nice smooth elbow. It goes like this and goes off to the other side. And you'll see these little things once I invert this, or you look at this thing yourself, you'll see what looks like these little L-shaped things like attached to it. Comes down and into this maybe something bigger here. Um, and another one over here, it does the same thing. Right there, right here. And again, that bolt, and you can actually see there's a line, so it looks like some kind of adjustable clamp kind of thing. To the left of that, it has, what, what I, the only way I can explain it, it looks like a small I-beam. It has like a pot going across right here. It comes down in the middle of that, and it comes out to a, to a bottom one. But what's really wild is it looks like it has teeth on it. So is it some kind of hydraulic machine with a gearing on it, with, with gear drive, or some kind of weird thing? Don't know. It's purely speculation. But... You can actually see there's an actual six there. Now, you probably won't see it that much here, and I get that, but you will. Um, there's something right here. Looks like a casing to something. It goes across right there, and it goes back down. So it looks like this thin thing right here, and it's got a corner to it. And then we've got these things right here sticking out. Don't know what those are. This rock here. And if these small things weren't here, you'd be able to see that a lot better, but you can see the actual part of it here. I mean, you just look anywhere in this picture, and you're just going to be like, oh, my God, what is this stuff? Um, I believe it's a lot of stuff. Because think of it. If it was something that fell on top of it, if it was an earthquake, this stuff would be totally crushed, and you wouldn't see no shapes or nothing to it. So I believe this stuff has been buried over a course of years. It could be hundreds, maybe even a thousand years. Who knows? It's hard to tell. Or most people would say, well, no, it's still a picture of Earth, and they took it from that. Okay, I get that. But on Earth, why would they bury such a thing purposely? And if it was done by a natural disaster, wouldn't it be crushed? You know what I mean? Because I don't know too much, like, like feet upon feet of dirt will just bury, like, objects. Unless, of course, it actually sank. The object sank into the ground because the ground opened up. But if something came down and crushed it, it would be crushed. It would just be crushed, and that's the end of it. So, I don't know, man. It's just, <laughs> it's it's weird. It has your mind wrestling with these ideas. First of all, is it of Earth or is it of Mars? If it is Earth, why is it buried in, in a way that it is? And why isn't any of this stuff crushed? It looks like something like somebody just went over and just buried the stuff. And why would they do that? So then you got to think, well, maybe it's a natural disaster they took from here on Earth. And then they, you know, it's it got buried. But you don't usually see things unless it, everything just kind of sinks in the ground and it gets swallowed that way. Yeah, I guess that could make sense. But you don't see too much of that. I've seen a lot of earthquakes, man. And let me tell you something. That's, uh, I don't know. Uh, that that's up in the air as far as I'm concerned. But I believe this is Mars, and I believe um, uh, this right here. I don't know if I was saying this earlier, but this looked like a car to me. Because like I said, it's got this front right here, got this wheel, this open right here, and this piece right here. And again, you got these weird corners which look like rocks. And they're not rocks, as, as far as I'm concerned, they're not. But let me jump to my picture here. Now, this is where you guys can use your magnification tool. But let me show you something that's pretty wild. And most people think, well... They can't be manipulating these pictures. Come on. You guys you guys are out of your mind. Okay. Watch this. I'm going to take one step in. Now, look to the right. I'm at 49%. Let's call it 50. We're splitting hairs here. But when I click one click of the scroll uh, the uh, the scroll wheel on the mouse, watch what happens. 
This it, that's what I'm getting at. Now, if I was to brighten and contrast this, now we'll look at it. So there's a pattern of throwing over these pictures. There's a reason why they're doing it. So again, the mind starts to get boggled, and you're trying to figure out why they would do such a thing. Well, to get rid of any kind of uh, you know details, or just try to hide this stuff. All right, um, I'm gonna zoom in. See how we, like it seems like it goes away. You go, well, it looks better there. Well, it does, but even though these get smaller, this, look at it. See how the pattern's still changing. Now, I'm zoomed into 74% now. And you'll see it now it's thinner lines, but it's still 77%. But it's still there. Look at it. Now, they're getting smaller right here at 90, getting larger now at 96. They're constantly changing. So there's a reason for that. Um, I'm going to do that a little bit. But you can get away with it. Watch this. Let's zoom into any part over here. Now, blur and blur. See how it gets a little bit clearer. And you can blur it one more time if you wanted to. But, okay. Let's move up over here. Here's that weird thing I told you looked like a rock. Well, it kind of appears to be a rock, but it's not. It's got that weird radius to it right here. It's going like this. And it's got a straight line going across here. But there's something here that comes down. Let me see how much I can zoom in. See it? It comes down, and there's a bunch of whatever this is. But look at this orifice right here, and this this pipe or some kind of weird... I've seen this before. I don't know where. I don't know if it was another picture of Mars or what it was, but I've seen this before. There's something else coming out right here. It has this weird opening. See it? Okay. These will look like little houses, and of course it won't look like this now because I'm zoomed in. So the magnification tool, guys, I hope you really use this, or whatever way you use to bring the pictures in, use it. Because believe me, you're going to need it in this picture. It was... It is intense. It was. I was going nuts trying to bring this stuff out because they do a great job of trying to hide this stuff. Here's what I said. It looks like that plant. So like the leaf coming off of it. And then there's something right here. You really can't make out these things here, but there's something right here. Some kind of weird bracket or something coming into the ground. Got these pointed petals. And you'll see that a lot better in the other picture. You know, like I said, once I'm backed out. Um, there's something right here. Look at this right here. See, it's just patterns and stuff on rocks. That's why I believe they're not rocks. I believe it's stuff that's been encrusted. It's just sitting on the surface. And there might have been tons of stuff that were modern anomalies, meaning modern stuff like machines, vehicles, call it what you want, just happen to be laying there. Um, you know, this is a little bit better view of the car. Well, what I looks like a car. Um, like I said, the body line right here comes down. This would be the front end. Like this, let's, let's call this the passenger side. Right here, this is the front end. And here's the other side. This would be the driver's side front end and this is your front you got the wheel right here looks like something's through the window of it and you got this box thing rectangular whatever this is sitting right there and it looks like the, like i said it looks like the door's open right there see it kind of goes down right there and whatever it is it's a section of some kind of machine or vehicle or something and again a little bit clearer as far as this corner on this piece okay and you can see what looks like there's still details inside whatever this is this encrusted stuff is let me see if i can find that other like I said, I didn't notice this until now. This is really weird. Let's see if I can find that other weird little anomaly thing that was sitting over here. I probably won't find it now. Um, but it had that weird lettering on it. Um, I'm not going to be able to find it now. Oh, it's right there. Let's see if we can find that right there. See, I can't really see it either way because it's just it's the way this thing is. See how, like, I just take out the blur, uh, the blur pot? Look at this. Put it back in. Looks a whole lot better. Let me see if we invert that for a second. Yeah, it's got some kind of weird something or other right there. But see how there's something buried right here? And because of the light, you can't really make it out. But there is some kind of weird shape to it. And it's got some, some wild-looking details to it, or lines. And look anywhere in this picture, guys. It's just going to blow you away. Um... Let me see. Look at all these weird things. Look, it looks like pipes sticking out. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a lot of it's rocks. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of this stuff, come on. Look at this stuff. It's just, just different shapes. And you can tell they're just some kind of weird encrusted stuff or call it what you want. Like this right here. And yeah, now you can see the eye a little bit better on that thing. Well, I caught it like an old dinosaur kind of thing. But you can actually see it comes down. It looks like it's got a leg right here and something right here. Leaning on this rock and there's something right there. There's something round right there. There's something right here and it's got detail to that too. 
don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, it's got some weird details to it. Get out of one blur. Sometimes I can bring a little bit more detail to it. Anywhere in this picture, we'll have you guys guessing, guys. It's 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 insane. Um, there's our number, right there, the number six. Now I can do this. See how look it just looks grainy. One blur. Okay, blur it again. And again, it has this weird part of this machine goes like this, comes back out. It looks like it's got a bolt and a nut. It's got some kind of clamp to it, and it looks like it has teeth. Like it's it's got that little eye beam. And it has teeth on it, and it goes down into it. Is it some kind of hydraulic geared machine? Is it? I, I don't know. Um, again, this little thing down here, it's got this weird shape to it. It's got this opening to it. Uh, this looked like it had like a like a picture of a car. I mean, you notice I said picture. But I don't think that's what it is. I think it's another part of something. It's just you've just seen it kind of sticking out of this rock or this encrusted whatever it is. Um... But this, this here t tells it all. Numbers are universal. Um, and that's what I was getting at to begin with. This part here, I call it the pizza slice because it kind of looks like a pizza slice. But you can see where they manipulated that a little bit. And you can't, you can just see the very tip. Um, but when you look, guys look at this picture, not only look right here. Like I said, there's some kind of little L things coming off it. There's one here, one here going onto another body of this thing. And I said, th this may not be a pipe. This may be something, you know, very big on here and you wouldn't know the difference. Um... It could be a front of something. I mean, I don't know, but it looks like some kind of bolt and nut, and it has this clamp on it, and it goes like this here. Like I said, this might be something... It's definitely something cylindrical, because you can see it's, like, rounded. It's like this band, and it's right here. It's like this decal, and it's got a number six on it. I mean, how other way to explain that? Um, let me see. Uh, I mean, that tells me... If this is, in fact... And like I said, I want to believe it's Mars... If it is, in fact, Mars, what's it doing there? So right there, boom. It's, you know, again, and this thing is like, it'll stick out as plain as day, guys. I mean, it's it's insane. This other piece I want you to see, and like I said, I'm going to back out and anybody who's going to use the tool, they'll be able to see this in a little bit because I'm going to just back out to 50, do the steps, and you guys can take it each um, step at a time and do your own thing. Um, watch when I invert this. See, it's like this, like it's really bright. It's like they manipulated this for a reason, and it kind of went like this. Okay, watch what it takes on when you invert this. It's a box. It's a weird box. It almost looks like if you were to visualize like a crane, um, if you look at a crane where the uh, the operator sits in, it has this weird box to it. You can look right at the top here. It has this weird line to it, like the roof line. comes comes around, comes over to here, comes down, goes down, goes right here. Now, look at the manipulation they try to do to it right here. And you can actually see that it comes goes right here, nice 90 degree angle, goes around like this here, and then back down. Well, of course, you can't really see the back down part, but you can see it kind of go around. I mean, come on, that's just too perfect here. I mean, uh, yeah. Um, there's something else here, it looks like some kind of car or something like that, it's, something's hidden in here. See this right here? Got this weird thing going on right here. I don't know what that is, but there's something there. Um, and just to let you guys know, Right there at the crosshairs, just to the left of that crosshair, the number six is sitting right there. It's still there no matter what. So it doesn't take on a different form when I, when I uh, invert. It's still there regardless. Um, and I do the brightness and contrast to see if that can help. Yeah, right there, right there at the left again, with that crosshair. And you can just see it a little bit right there. But look on the top here. You still got that piping thing or whatever this is. And you'll see there's one hair, one hair. It's, now they're black, one, two, could be a, a bolt and a nut, and there's a bracket kind of thing going around this thing. And right here, it looks like you can see those little those little lines. It looks like some kind of gear with a little I-beam or whatever the heck this thing is. I'm just going with what I think it looks like. Um, but nevertheless, this is 110%. It screams intelligently made. And it's a buried piece of equipment, 100%. So it's telling me two things. One, obviously it's intelligently made. And two, it's been buried. Like something catastrophic happened. So if this is, in fact, Mars, it tells the story. Now, some people will argue, no, this is Earth. Okay, explain to me why you would think we'd bury this. That's one. Two, even if it was catastrophic, again, have a piece of equipment, like a crane sitting in a large field, and then have a, this big catastrophic earthquake. What, what would happen to it? What would happen to this crane? Not a thing. I mean, like, again, if it was a total shock earthquake, well, yeah, it may blow the windows out of it and... 
I mean, if the crane was up in the air, it would fall down and collapse, but it wouldn't get buried. So this is what I'm saying. This is what I wrestle with. I try to look at all angles, and maybe you guys got a better angle than I do. Maybe you guys see something I don't. Um, but nevertheless, it's there. Now you can see it again. It's right there. It is at number six, and you can see this stuff is black. Now, also pay attention to this. It looks like a bolt, a bolt, and a bolt, and you'll see that in a little bit. Oh, when you'll, you actually see it a lot better when it's when you can uh, zoom in. So anyway, let me do that. Um, come on, mouse, work for me here. I think my battery's going in my mouse here. Um, of course, I just got rid of that, so that's always good. Um, let me go to here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go back, and we're going to zoom out to 49%. It's not actually 50. Um, okay. Now, you guys can stop this. Anybody who's using their magnifier, here you go. I'm gonna take the next next step to the brightness and contrast. This is where this will make that pot. If you don't, if you guys don't want to look at anything right now, that's fine. Look at at least right there, right in that area. Okay, brightness and contrast. That should make it pop. I've noticed anywhere between four and five hundred magnif magnification is probably the best. Now I've been up to seven to eight hundred, and you could do it on any of this picture, but it does blur it up a quite a bit. So, but anyway, use the four to five. Seems to be the optimal. Um, it seems to be pretty good. So, and then we just brightness and contrast it again. That should be more than enough to actually check out all. The, and again, check out the right hand side of this, right here, where it looks like this. Well, it looks like a rock, but it's not. And just look at the details. What I'm talking about as far as that pot goes. I'll, I'll move out of the way. You guys can pause it. Um, and then we'll jump back in, and you can see, like, it looks like pipes or something coming out of this, but it's not a rock. You can see the shape of this thing, and it's like it looks like it's encrusted. Um, all even down here, it has these weird things, like, just sticking out of the ground. Right here, and right here. And you guys can look at that. Look at, I mean, everywhere from, let's just do it this way. You can see where my mouse is. From here up, just look at all of that. It, it looks like the shapes of things inside this rock. So... Um, and again, let me um, invert. Of course, this is blurred up, so you guys are not going to see uh, as far as the detail. As far as this, you may not see this detail at all uh, once I blur it and do everything else. Um, but you can look at this box here up on the top and see there's something else there. There's three pots here you can look at uh, with your magnifier. This pot here with the box. This one over here looks like some kind of vehicle or something buried. And this pot right here. Now, of course, that doesn't mean this is going to turn out to be anything, but because I'm just basically taking the lighted areas and reversing them so you can see better detail. But this here was clearly manipulated. You can see how they just try to manipulate it up over it. Why would you see through a rock? So, in other words, let's say this is encrusted in actual rock. You wouldn't see the, the anomaly. You wouldn't see it through it. So, again, use a little common sense here, a little rational thinking. that You wouldn't see this. Not this pot here. But you can see it. You'll see like a roof line. The roof... And this thing coming down. So was this just like this real large machine sitting here? Was it some? Was it multiple things? Um, this is where I said uh, it looks like the car is right here. That's brightness and contrast a little bit more. And the reason why I did that is so you can see right there. This is look at the cross here where my mouse is. Should be right on the left side of it. Right there should be your nine. And you'll see it a little bit. It won't be as bright and clear as you would like it to be, but it's there. Um, but anyway, guys. Like I said, I'll, I'll bring it back. And like I said, stop it anywhere you want. Do the first blur. And of course, this won't look good on, at all on your uh, magnifier. But go back. Go back. I really want you guys to see this thing. It, it, to me, it's insane. Um, and, I, and I love, I mean, you know me, guys. I'm like the detail guy. I mean, I just love details. Um, okay. And I'm going to go to the first contrast. And then we'll just do the open image just for the crap of it. But And now this, so in other words, this is an untouched picture right now. This is the open image. Here you go, basic image. Stop it any way you want, like I said. And I'm going to just, like I said, right here. And then the second contrast. Guys, look it over. Let me know what you find. Um, I think it's I think it's a cool picture. I think it just basically says, yeah, modern anomalies, uh, modern machines. Uh, call it what you want. I mean, that's the way it appears to me. So... Anyway, guys, I think this video has been long enough. Um, I gave you my thoughts, what I think it is. I think it's something that's buried. I think it's been encrusted. It's, it's a bunch of things laying strewn all over the ground here. Um, just take a good look at it. I mean, with your tool. I mean, the magnifying tool is like a beautiful thing. Um, I'm hoping this came out good because I'm going to go over it myself, and I'm hoping that it goes out. And 
obviously if it makes it to YouTube and you're watching it, then, you know, it's, uh, um, obviously I've seen something too. Um, or at least my magnifier worked well with this software. So anyway, guys, you know, if you're a viewer and you want to become a subscriber, just subscribe to me. I mean, I've got some crazy stuff coming up for you guys. Um, I'm always looking for things that are A, hidden. Or just really obscured and it's really hard to find stuff. I, I go out of my way. I don't put the stuff there. I show you the links. Give you the links in the description. Look in the bottom. You'll see at the very bottom of the description. I always leave a link because, hey, you know what? I want you guys to see the stuff that they're hiding. I don't want to leave anything out. This is the reason why I take my time to do the 50%. I do the, uh, you, anybody can use their magnifiers on this thing, their cameras, whatever it is that they help zoom in on, do it up. That's the idea of my channel. I want you guys to not miss a thing. I want you to see it all. So with the help of everybody and everybody getting together, throwing their comments in what they think it is, we come closer to the truth. So, hey, you know, that's what it's all about. As always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I do this stuff for you guys. Um, and just just uh, stay tuned, so to speak, and you guys will see some more crazy stuff. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next pick.